Joe Biden called this meeting constructive and productive, and it certainly led to several agreements that were given the final go-ahead during this four-hour meeting between uh, the two heads of state. First of all, Joe Biden and Xi Jinping have agreed to resume uh, high-level military-to-military talks. Uh, Joe Biden said they'd both agree they wanted to have a situation where any concern or question could simply be addressed by picking up the phone and calling one another. Second, Xi and Biden have agreed to crack down on fentanyl production, the sale of raw material uh, used to make fentanyl and then transporting it into the United States has had uh, devastating consequences for this country. Joe Biden said that that agreement would save American lives. And third, uh, the two countries have agreed to hold government level talks on artificial intelligence, but there have no, been no details that have emerged on what that will entail and when they will happen. But that press conference at the very end of that meeting did end with a very shocking remark. Uh, Joe Biden was asked by a reporter if he still considered uh, Xi Jinping to be a dictator. And Joe Biden did reply saying, well, he is. He is a dictator. A very uh, surprising remark given everything that went into organizing this meeting. It will be very interesting to watch the Chinese reaction to this from both officials and media in the next few days.